What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Floppy. So we're playing Neo Scavenger. It's a survival game. I've heard a lot about this. I have not played it ever. Just loaded the screen here for the first time. People tell me about this game every once in a while. Like scavenging, but want more zombies? Try Project Zomboid. Okay, okay, okay. They got good taste. Let's start a new game. So it's different. It's not like I, I don't think it's like a character walking around. It's more of a strategic decision-making game, but I'm not 100% sure. So here we go. Moves left 5.0 out of four. What the fuck? Sated hunger. Slack it third. Why? What's well rested, unburdened. Okay, I see. I see. Well rested. Uh, player is unburdened by what they're carrying. Great. Uh, I'm comfortable. Uh, outdoor temp. Okay. Uh, I'm unhurt and I have zero dollars here. Here's the abilities you can choose from. Uh, so I guess it's like Project Zomboy where you have certain things you can pick, but you might have to pick um, negatives as well. Amount left 15. Let's do a randomize and see what we get. Holy fucking flaws. We got three abilities and five flaws. Let's do try that again. Mount used 19 to mount left 2. Hiding, eagle eye, tracking, metabolism, trapping, botany. Okay, let's uh let's get rid of everything. Let's let's do this ourselves. So can I just mix these up? I don't even I don't know. You can carry more without being encumbered. That sounds good. Okay. Wait. That used a lot of points. All right. Medic, improved healing rate, hiding, ability to hide is more effective. That's probably a good thing in this game. Melee, eagle eye, can see one hex further than normal. Light and line of sight permitting, and can detect hidden things easier. That sounds pretty good. Athletic, less fatigue per move. Can run away faster in battle. Trapping herbs, fungi, can trap animals, hacking. Uh, tough, higher pain threshold, immune system effectiveness, and resistance to wounds, can headbutt in combat. Oh shit. Tracking can spot older tracks than normal. This is so hard. I find this shit so hard. Uh, I always like lock picking. Mechanic, metabolism, food and water intake rates reduced. That's got to always be good for survival. Uh, oh god, I kind of like tough. And then maybe that's too much. I wish it had number. Like, oh, it's up in the top right corner. I see. So we can get hacking, hiding. One of those. So hacking. Or hiding Come concealment stat let's go with hiding so I think that's good current cursor mode take drop one use two destroy I probably should have watched a video on how to play this game first it probably would have been a good idea let's confirm this all right you wake up disoriented slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod still damp from cryo fluid and your own piss the thick dust from the floor clings to your skin gives you a bronchial constriction reaction and you die instantly from being tied up never mind okay let's uh leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large zero five is painted across the room there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside just as you gather your wits an unearthly scream erupts down the hall, beyond the doorway, something is coming fast. All right, so what the hell is all this? <laughs> Open and close encounter screen with the letter E. So I can't do anything with that yet. Currently selected response, wake up in cryo facility. Okay, confirm current response. Prepare to fight, hiding, find somewhere to hide. Jump out the window. Hiding. Strong. Prepare to fight. Hmm. The scream can't be good. Let's try hiding. We just woke up. We don't know what's going on. Let's let's be careful here. What the hell is that? You quickly scan the room for a hiding place and duck behind the cryo tank nearest the window. Hopefully the light from outdoors will make it harder to see you in the nearby shadow. And with most of the room smelling of cryo... Cryoprotectants. 
you stand a pretty good chance of having your scent masked. You hold your breath as something enters the room. Its heavy breathing becomes more nasal as it begins sniffing the air. The sniffing grows closer but continues further into the room. It lets out an annoyed bark, huffs, and starts sniffing back into the hall. A few minutes later, you're pretty sure it's out of earshot again. Fuck, so that was good. Glad we didn't uh, try to play with that thing. You're standing in a cryostasis room, though it looks like you might have been the only survivor. Okay. Currently select response. Inside cryo facility, dog man is gone. So we had an encounter with the dog man. Search the console for records. I think that's a smart idea. I think that's all right. What are these buttons down here? Toggle message font size. Change attack mode. What are my options? I think that's it. All right. You check the console for any patient info. Here we have tank five. I wonder if that's us because we had a big five in front of us. And you come across three records. Number one is Anton Blubber. Dear God, don't let my last name be Blubber. Uh, emergency contact, Angela Blubber. And a bunch of details. Here's Philip Kindred, committed, billing, yada yada. And we have Lloyd Blank check. <laughs> and all that info too. So Philip Kindred maybe might be our name. You're standing in a cr okay. So, okay. Okay. So our only option really is to climb out the window, I guess. Go ahead and do that. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the sill and outside, rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp, probably morning. The distant report of a gun catches your attention. You cock your head, listening, but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, though that doesn't necessarily comfort you. Okay. Coffee break, one second. We're good. You're in the parking lot of Gaigi's Cryo Facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. All right. When traveling in the world of Neo Scavenger, you will notice some hexes with boxes or magnifying glasses on them. All right. So there's a box. There's a magnifying glass. Boxes mean that the hex has items to pick up. A gold O-line means there are new items since you've last been there. Okay. Magnifying glasses mean that the hex can be scavenged for items. Great. Most of the really useful stuff must be found by scavenging. However, scavenging takes time and energy, and you risk danger every time you do. While standing in such a hex, click scavenge to start scavenging it. While standing in such a hex, click to see items in items. Gotcha. All right, so here we go. We're out in the real world now, so we have some different options here. All right, so show show main map. Okay, that's this. Show zoomed out mini map. Wowzers, how big is this place? Down here we have open, close, skills, abilities. All right. Down here we have open, close, crafting screen. A crafting screen? Available ingredients. Food and water intake rate. Why, do, why are these in here? Known recipes. Holy shit. Food from large corpse. Interesting. Okay. Hospital gown. Oh, this is what I have on me. I see. Bronze talisman on a braided leather string. Hospital wrist strap. Uh, and a couple shards of random shit. And that's it. All right. Let's close that. So we have something here that we can scavenge so our options are run hide hide tracks cover your tracks and then the hex spy spy on a creature or scavenge we also have open close item screen so here's our dude we have some shards here doesn't look like we have a backpack or gloves or anything like that on we do have this thing a bronze talisman on a braided leg i don't think i can examine it or anything we're currently barefoot uh medic yeah yep yeah. okay so I believe this game is known for being a little bit brutal too. So you can you die a lot. I could be wrong about that, but maybe I just made that up. 
No, I'm pretty sure this is one that's like a bitch to play, but it's like a hardcore one. Uh, but we'll see for ourselves. What's the difference here? This is, oh, this is the medical one. Okay. Uh, this is the camp screen. Currently use campsite, shelter, sleep, concealment, shelter, any old spot on the ground is our current shelter. Oh, we can get a vehicle too. Neat. All right, so let's get out of here and let's go ahead and scavenge the area. To scavenge a hex, you must first choose a location to search. Some hexes have only one, but others may have more. Then you will be shown the relative success chance and safety levels of the scavenging process. You are also shown tools and skills you can use to a sorry to adjust the results. Okay, so green slash full bars are good. Red empty bars are bad. All right, so scavenging success ratings, loot, safety, sneak. Loot, chance of finding loot or a campsite. Chance of avoiding an accident if safety is high. And sneak, chance of scavenging without attracting attention. Choose your options carefully. Currently select a response, stop scavenging. No, oh, I, I want to scavenge. Is that for this place? Or that's just the example? I mean, let's try it. Okay, I see. So great, great, and sneak great. Despite its high tech appearance, this facility seems to be tucked away in a wilderness out of sight. This bodes well for the chances of finding something of value or even shelter. Provided nothing else has set up shop here with those with those same ideas. Okay. You found something. You received items. Consume slash use this to re-enter Gyro's cryo's facility. What the hell is it? What? What the fuck? I don't understand what that is. What is that? Whoops. One second, I just minimized my screen by accident there. Oh, did it fuck up? No, I don't think it's cut enough. I think you can see the full screen still, right? Sorry if it looks weird now. Here, we'll leave it like that. All right. Let's, uh... All right, I don't really know what the hell that item was. That's weird. Let's go ahead. We have, like, a town here, but this looks more safe up here. There's some items here, too. Let's go ahead and... Where's the, um, items... Thing here show there we go I got back full screen okay wasn't there like a get items thing instead of oh it's uh it's not gold so maybe that's why I can't loot it all right let's check out this place I see footsteps here let's scavenge scavenge in an open field confirm Loot low, safety is high, sneak. Okay. Scavenging, hiding. We can do it discreetly. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go balls deep into this. Open fields are scavengers' worst options. <laughs> As anything of value here was likely already spotted and taken. Plus, there's hardly anywhere to hide. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. Way to make me feel good here. Let's go ahead. Looking around, there appear to be a few areas worth checking out. Okay. You decide to not try scavenging for now. I thought I was scavenging. All right. Let's uh, see some tracks here. How do I see those tracks? Spy? Yeah, let's head down this way. Okay. Beam, sir. A player is unable to see well in these conditions, making activity difficult. Okay. What do we got on us here? Trees? use or craft to add more wood so we can add wood i don't have like a, a, any clothes or anything you know finish okay so i can't oh i see it's turn based right so I, let's uh finish what the hell is this adobe flash all right when the hell's the last time you saw something that's flash player is shivering yikes Let's go ahead and try to scavenge uh, the stretch of forest. Confirm. Loot low. 
Okay, this stretch of forest seems to almost flourish in the absence of human life. Good chance one could find food and raw materials in here if they knew what to look for. Just watch out for creatures that make this forest their home and hunting ground. Brutishly scavenging a hex. Okay. Looking around, there appear to be a few areas worth checking out. Okay. The stretch of forest seems to almost flourish in the absence Okay. Am I doing this wrong? Like, what? Why do I feel like I'm doing this wrong? Scavenge brutishly. Uh, okay. You found something. Go to the item screen to see what it is. Your activity likely alerted nearby creatures. Okay. So I found water. And we found mushrooms. So, outdoor temp. I'm pretty cold. But that's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and head down here. I feel like not enough moves left. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Alright. Let's pause. We're freezing. We're getting there. Alright. Flare has moderate hypothermia. Let's get down into this town. Maybe we can get some shelter or something. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explo that sounds like warmth to me. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of catalysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. Along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the runes. Yeah, let's go ahead. And turn. I'm gonna die soon. Shit. Up ahead, it looks like there's some sort of abandoned car. It's covered in filth. And what glass remains is almost opaque with grime. So it's been here a while. Hard to tell if anything's inside from here. The door on this side is open, though, and it looks like a tattered sleeping bag spills through the opening. That sounds nice. Leave the car, throw something at the car, take the sleeping bag. It's filthy and you shudder to think of all the things that might have lived in here over the years, but it's warmth and not freezing to death beats hygiene any day. No, sleeping bags must be on the ground or in your camp when any to turn to have any effect. Must be on the ground or in your camp. Confirm. Okay. We're going to leave the car. You leave the husk of a car behind. Flare has hypothermia. We have a camp here. Go ahead and... Maybe... Oh, we still have moves left, actually. Thought we were going to be done. Uh, is there anywhere else that we can... Uh, scavenge in here? An abandoned house? A couple of abandoned houses. Let's go ahead and do that. Suburbs were hit hard in the collapse, with masses of people fleeing urban centers in search of supplies and subnatural threats encroaching from the wilds. Suburbs, suburbs became the front lines in a war for survival. Still, houses like these are so numerous that some have been entirely missed by scavengers, and they tend to be less likely to fall over than the bigger buildings in urban centers. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's confirm. No useful item found this time. You're actively... Activity likely alerted nearby creatures. <clears throat> that can't be good. All right. I mean, let's try again, I guess. Try right, this place. Uh, excuse me, sorry. All right, let's confirm. You found something. Okay. What did we find? We got a metal saucepan. <clears throat> we got a pocket knife. Can I equip this? Oh, I can. Multi-tool pocket knife. Cool. What can I do with this? Okay. We have Wolverine black whiskey bottle. It's empty though. The shard, pebbles, sleeping bag, disposable plastic shopping bag. Scrap of uh, foil. Uh, canary light pocket cigarette lighter. So maybe we can use that. 
to light a fire or do something. I'm not quite sure how to do any of that shit yet. We are hypothermic. We're using a sleeping bag. We are barefoot. Medic ability required to see detailed health bars. I see. So, I think we've seen everything here. We have one move left. We should probably throw this in here. Right? And this will help us. What's that? What's the triangle? I don't know. Let's uh, go ahead and hide our tracks. I feel like we're in danger here. Okay, let's end our turn. I want to see what happens to our hypothermic status and our outdoor temperature. It says I'm comfortable. You have severe, severe hypothermia. Okay, we got a little warmer, actually. We got a little warmer. So if I leave this area, does this stay in this area? Right? The ruined bungalow. I think this would stay behind, right? So we have to take this with us. Does that take one of my turns? I wonder. I think it did. All right, so maybe we should head down. I see quite a few items down here. Okay, this opened some shit. There's a feral dog there. Piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit, feral dog. So I don't have any turns left. Where the hell's my sleeping bag? Did we not take the sleeping bag? What the hell? Yo, I, didn't I move that back into my items on the ground here? Oh, did I put it on the ground? Oh, shit. I'm... We'll screen. There we go. I mean, okay. Let's end turn, I guess. Uh-oh. There is severe hypothermia. Okay. Well, I kind of want to go back and get that sleeping bag. It's This is a shitty move to do, but... See, we put it on the ground. Oh, currently used on campsite. So we want to use the item screen. I guess I don't really have an inventory, right? Because I don't have a backpack. So I see. I didn't read this. I thought this was our inventory. So this is not shit that we have. Hmm. Do we want the pocket knife or a lighter? Hmm, Wolverine shard, pebbles. So that's my bad. I uh, just realized now that these are not the items that are on us. I see. So we have to pop that. Right now, I think it's good. We can stay warm with the sleeping bag, I'm hoping. I understand now. I understand what's happening now. Let's move back into the woods here. I don't like that those um, that feral dog left. <laughs> but... Uh, I'm understanding the menu here now a little bit better. So now we have this guy I can put on the ground. And then if I want, I can come in here and put it in my camp, right? Okay, I understand. Now we can, we have no turns left. Let's skip. Oh shit. There's fucking dogs all around us. Oh, okay. So cover none. Visible, yes. Weaponed, we can punch. Well, no, I have... I have this. I do have this. That doesn't change anything. Condition strong. So here's our options. Desperate retreat. <laughs> uh, retreat. Fall back. Take cover. Okay. Run. Threaten. Raise weapon and threaten to use it. Uh, advance. Charge. Wait for one turn doing nothing. Best cover low terrain difficult. Uh, currently selected combat. I kind of want to fight the dog just to get an idea. We're probably going to end up getting fucked up and dying. But I, I need to get a feel for how the game where, you know, sh should I be running from this guy? Probably. Probably. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a good idea, but let's see what happens, you know? So we confirm. I just want to see how the game kind of works here. Melee surge. These are different. Dodge. Barrel dog is exposed to easy attack for a moment. Tackle target. Okay. Melee surge. Launch a flurry of melee attacks at target. Okay. Melee attack. Let's do this one. Yeah, man. Player needs a moment to... Rec okay. What's happening here? Launch a flurry. Okay. Needs a moment to recover. Barrel dog needs a moment to recover. 
Uh, players scratch feral dog's upper left leg and their lower chest and their upper chest. Feral dog is bleeding. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, feral dog. You piece of shit. Okay, wait for one turn doing nothing. Okay. Dog's still bleeding. And we're good. So, right now, be a good time. What, how much does this take? Chance to hit target one to three times and stun them for one turn. Automatically lose one turn. Use target melee on that, okay. Low chance of making you vulnerable. High chance of being detected if hidden. Let's go with straight up melee and confirm. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, we feral dog attacks player and hits. He hit me? He grazed my upper right leg with a bite. Player cut feral dog's lower left arm with a multi-duel. Okay, this bitch is still bleeding. Go ahead and hit him again. Okay. We're exposed to an easy attack for a moment. Uh, Grace player's upper left arm. Okay, this guy's still just sitting there bleeding. Should we go for a surge? Okay, what happened? Oh god, it says I'm bleeding now. We launched a flurry. Needs a moment to recover. It needs a moment to recover before. Okay. Uh, I slashed the dog. Lower le right leg. I cut the feral dog's head. Player scratch feral dog lower chest. Feral dog is in severe pain and is having trouble concentrating. Why am I bleeding? Oh, up here. Feral dog scratch player's upper chest with a bite. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Severe pain and bleeding. Going for another melee. Okay. I wish there was a way to... To see easily which... Like, highlight this as being a new message from the last turn. I'm mixing in these messages and I it's harder to tell what's what. Alright, let's go for another flurry. I don't care. Let's kill this thing. Okay. Feral dog is unconscious. Fell to the ground and must regain footing to continue. Passed out from unbearable pain. Player lacerated feral dog's lower chest with a multi tool. Feral dog died. <laughs> and to acute bleeding in the lungs. Jesus Christ. This game's a little violent. We have a dog corpse here. What I'd like to do is eat it. <laughs> Handful of berries. How do I eat these? I'm not quite sure how to eat things right now. Oh, you just right click. Uh, handful of bears, white slash yellow. This could be real bad. There ate some berries. Okay, great. Yeah, great. Uh, hunger. I'm not even hungry. I don't fucking eat it anyway. And take slash drop. I can't seem to, like, harvest it or anything. What did I just put it on my hand? What are we missing here? Where's my... Oh, shit. Minor cut. Wow, I got fucked up. I thought he bit me once. Damn, bro. Um, pain. I don't really have anything to treat that, I don't think. I don't know what to do. Alright, let's scavenge, man. Like, what else are we gonna do? I think we can rest and heal, it says, but... Yeah, that's fine. Just watch for creatures. Let's confirm. Okay, let's go to the item screen. Okay, I found water. Go ahead and drink that. Mushrooms. Yeah, why not? That dog corpse is still there. Using sleeping bag. Man, we are screwed on those. Uh, rest here until wounds heal. We'll stop resting if conditions change or creature appears. Let's try and see what happens. Let's rest and heal. Oh, great. A feral dog came, came by to say hi. That's great. So he's pissed off about his buddy. So that's good. Uh, if I take off and run, I assume I'm going to leave my sleeping bag behind because it's on the ground. 
So I don't know if I want to fuck with that. Mm. Do I have good cover? Best cover total. Did it work? Or is taking cover and it's harder to hit with ranged weapons. Feral Dog charges that player. Feral Dog is exposed to an easy attack for a moment. Let's go full balls deep flirt, uh, uh, surge or whatever, yeah. Uh, player tries to launch flurry of attacks, but misses. Player needs some, oh, shit's sake, some bleeding probably from earlier, though. Okay. I just gotta throw everything at this, you know? What, what, okay. players, players pierce and ravage your multi-tool pocket knife has fallen apart. Fuck. Looks like I hit him pretty good, though. We'll keep punching, I guess, because I don't know what, what else to do. Okay. Fallen, vulnerable, recovering, bleeding, strong, barefoot, vulnerable. Okay. Okay. So, roll, dodge. Why? What's your battered? Am I tired? Like, why am I... Move one space away from target. Wait for one turn. Do nothing. Yeah, fuck it. Barrel dog gets up, reach for target and attempt to throw off their footing. Wait, what is happening? Why can't I fight? I want to punch this little fuck while he's down. Okay. Oh, you have to manually get up. There. Okay. Player is tired. Feral dog is bleeding. Player is in severe pain and is having trouble concentrating. Feral dog fell asleep because he's so fucking bored of this fight. All right. Feral dog leader is bleeding. What is this? A different dog? Did I always say leader? Let's try a normal melee. Oh god. I pounded the feral dog's leader's head with a punch. Feral dog leader died of severe traumatic brain injury. Good old TBIs. <laughs> Shit, man. Okay, fuck. I thought we were going to be pretty safe here. We need to heal for sure. Currently. Rest and heal, man. Players in minor pain and some activities are affected. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get a couple dead dogs here. We're in a little bit of pain. <laughs> uh, let's close this. Why can't I scavenge right now? Go ahead and hide our tracks. It's probably a good idea. And rest. Rest and heal. Player is unable to see well in these conditions. Okay, looks like we're getting better. We're feeling better. Uh, what does spying do? I'm good. Let's rest and heal a little bit longer. As night falls, you notice there is a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the treetops. It's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization. Maybe even a lead on where you are or who. Nothing else. It's as good a landmark to strike towards as any. Press minimap or the M key to see the location. I don't see shit, man. Oh, the glow's right here. The word that says glow. Oh, God. Full screen me again, please. There we go. All right, man. So it's like nighttime. Got some outdoor conditions. And uh, we're uh, exploring the area here. All right, let me know if you want to see more of Neo Scavenger. I picked this up for four bucks Canadian on Steam during the Steam Survival Fest. So you can go check that out. Uh, I think it's running August 1st, August 8th. No biggie. If you miss it, I still, I, I forget what it costs normally. 15 bucks, maybe. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, uh, let me know. It's a different type of game than what I play, but it hits that survival genre hard and it goes very in depth. So it's not the typical player controls that you have but you have all of the elements of a classic in-depth survival game 
Stay flat, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.